Kia ora, good afternoon and hello everybody in my year 10 science class that I share with Mrs. Van Royen. Today is the 24th of August 2021. Hiri Kuka is August. I'd like to look at three things today with some subdivisions in there. Uh, New Zealand and where it's located in comparison to boundaries between two plates. Uh, three signs of action that we can look for. What is causing the action and three types of boundary in between two different plates. Um, moving along here, I'm just going to get my uh, computer to uh, move me along a little bit. I think that should work. Yes, indeed. Okay, New Zealand um, is located uh, in an unfortunate place in some ways. Here is the Australia, uh, sorry, Indo Australian place, got India and Australia on it. This is the Pacific plate, and we are located on the boundary. And if you look at a, uh, a photograph taken which contains not a photograph it's a, an image that contains information about depth there's New Zealand a bit that sticks out of the water purple is deep and orange is shallow uh, you can see there's a very deep bit through here very deep bit down there and uh, we've got this slightly drowned continent called Zealandia uh, we've got some things we can look for to spot action underneath us. There are three main things. Volcanoes pop up off to one side, as I pointed out last time. Uh, we also get mountain building, where two plates that work together wrinkle up. Um, and we also get a lot of bumping and grinding, which is uh, noticed as earthquakes. The boundary runs through the South Island, which is unfortunate for Christchurch down here on, on just north of Banks Peninsula. And also for Kaikoura, which is around about here where the plate uh, moves through. The plates underneath us, they are not rigid. Um, they are, sorry, they are rigid, but they are not fixed in place. They move around a little bit. They float on the layer of this rock in here, which is almost but not quite melted. It moves and flows at about the speed your fingernails grow at, around about, uh, as it says down here, somewhere between... Uh, 10 and 150 millimeters per year they move because of these big slowly churning plates underneath here slowly churning currents underneath and there are three kinds of plate boundary we've got one where one plate runs into another and that's um there's two types of that which we're going to get onto. it's not banging i don't like the word impact i like the word squeezing together very slowly two plates can move apart tearing apart and that happens down in the south of New Zealand in the um, Antarctic Southern Ocean and there's another one that is uh, shown by these two yellow arrows here where one plate slides past another uh, and that's predominantly what's happening in the South Island so a little quick summary of what we've done today talked about New Zealand and where it fits on plate boundaries three things that give us an indication that something's going on, on underneath us Looked at what's causing the action. Uh, there's churning, slowly turning currents, very slowly turning currents. Uh, three types of boundary. Squeezing together, pulling apart, sliding past each other. Um, I'm going to um, link to another video about uh, what's causing the action. I didn't make the video. It's a lovely little video, about one minute, 18 seconds long or something, about what's going on um, and causing the plates to move. Thanks very much, everybody. Stay safe, stay well, have fun. I hope you like this.